Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So today we will understand how, uh, how we can create a parameters at the database level, uh, at the data set level. So in the previous uh, session, we have discussed what are the parameters actually in ADF and how we can create a parameters at the linked service level. Okay, there I have, this is my SO uh, data factory instance, which I have already opened. And in I went to the manage tab and I have showed you uh, to create a link service and there I have created uh, this parameters which will allow me to give the database name at the runtime to connect with. Okay, so as we know that link service is basically holding the connection string like uh, server name and database uh, inside that server which database we are going to connect so that uh, that information uh, link service will hold. Now uh, we have created see the parameters here and and this is we have mapped with a database name and if you see at the red link service dot then the parameter name so this depict that this is the parameter which we have created at the link service uh, level okay so today's session we will see how we can create the uh, parameters at the database level uh, at the uh, not database data set level I'm sorry i'm uh, using the database word it's a data set so uh, for uh, to check the data sets you have to go to the author tab here you can see this is already created data sets which i have created this is the data set which is uh, uh, connected to my azure sql db this is one of the database which connected to my blob storage i will give you an example of both okay first click on this which i have created uh, database uh, data set is actually one step inside the uh, uh, link service you can see link service holds the connection string to connect with the particular server and the database and data set is basically uh, uh, it's a pointer to the table structure to which basically it's going to connect with okay so uh, if you see this is my data set which i have already created and this data set i if you see in the connection i am using this link service so uh, let me test if this link service is working fine yeah, connection is successful. Now I need to check to which server it is going to connect. So click on added to see this link server is a uh, link service is connected to my uh, server demo 03. Okay. And it is connected to database Azure demo database. Fine. That means my data set is going to connect to any of the table which is inside my Azure data, Azure uh, uh, demo database, uh, uh, database in this server. So what I did I have opened my Azure demo database. Okay. What I did is I go to, uh, let me show you how I connected. I go to home. In home, I click on the SQL uh, server. Okay. In the SQL server, I have two databases. I click on the Azure demo database. And in Azure demo database, I need to go here. And I have connected. Uh, there is an option query editor. So there I need to connect to this database. Okay, to show you how many number of tables we have in this database, because in the data sets, we have to provide the table name at the runtime. Okay, so see, these are the tables we, which I have in my database, uh, Azure demo database inside this server, Azure SQL Server demo 03. So let me see if we have any of the records inside this demo underscore employee data table. Yes, we have few of the records here. I think how many two rows. Okay, so what we are going to do at one we are going to create a parameter at data. We are going to connect with this table. Okay. So go to data factory instance. Uh, we have created a data set. If you see uh, this link service is going to connect to the Azure demo database. Now it is going to connect to my table and this table is nothing but I have created a uh, parameters for it. So how this parameter has been created. If you click on this wide area canvas area, you can see you can provide the connection setting, you can provide the schema setting, you can import the schema if you want it. And there is an option of parameters. So here I have clicked on new and I've created a uh, parameters for the table name. Okay, and this I have used data set underscore table name that means it should I'm giving this name, uh, naming convention. Uh, that it shows that this parameter I have created at the data set level because this is data set, right? I am in the data set, data set underscore Azure SQL DB. This canvas is belongs to the data set. I am not in the pipeline. So this is the option which is we have, uh, they have provided us in the data set and I have created one parameter here. Now I need to go to connection and here in the connection, I want this parameter to be used. Okay. So what I did, um, uh, all the table right now, all the tables in my server is having this schema debut. So I have put it this way. 
hard coded value if you wanted to create a parameter for the schema label as well that also you can do it let me do one thing okay click click create new parameter and this is data set underscore table schema okay okay so this will be fine and go to the connection and instead of giving this hard coded value what i am going to do i map my parameters table schema to my this value okay and at the rate data set is nothing it will show us that this parameter which you have created is at the database uh, data set level so see both schema as well as the table name is my is parameterized now how we can test the data set my data set is ready now click on save it is saving the value which i have created new uh, parameters right that new parameter is going to save because my uh, adf is connected to the is uh, mapped with a git repository that's why i i am getting this save option now how i can check it there is a preview option okay so click on the preview data as soon as you click on preview data it is asking me to uh, provide the actual value of the table and the schema so let me i wanted to connect with schema is dbo and i wanted to connect with demo employee data okay so i copy this let me copy this and put it over here okay and click on okay so it is loading see it it gave me the preview of the data what we have go and double check 102 maya delhi 103 madhuri hyderabad the same thing we are getting it that means our data set is able to connect to this table which we have given at the run time now again preview it click on and this time i wanted to connect with another table let's say uh, which table let me click on this roots table to see if we have any data in this table i think we don't have any data in this table okay so let me click on this sample to table do we have any record in this table here also not let me check this table let me check this employee data table see something is different because we have record it let me check oh let me run the query sorry i didn't run the query i've just click on this okay uh, let me go to the food table click on the run query i didn't run it actually that's why it was not giving me my bad sorry guys okay so here if you can see uh, in the fruits table i am having this many records so what i am going to do copy this fruits table this time i want my the same data set i will use to connect with my connect to different table okay so give this fruits table and click on okay see i am able to connect to the different table so this way what we can do if you have a requirement that uh, uh, where you wanted to uh, you know connect with the this particular database only and you have to play with the different tables in the same database so what you can do you can create only one data set and there you can pass you can create a parameters at the data set level and you can provide the table schema and table name and that you can use in the connection and uh, that way and at the run time you can provide the values to which particular table you wanted to connect with so this way we can create a parameters at the data set level and we can test it now this is one thing uh, which i have shown you there is another data set which is which connect to the blob storage let me give you an example of that also if you see here this is connected to my link service this link service connected to my blob storage let me go to the uh, home let me see first which blob storage it is going to connect with so it is connected to you can see the account name blob storage tutorial okay so let me open the blob storage tutorial uh can i see blob storage tutorial see this is the storage account so what i'm going to do i'll let me open it blob storage tutorial go to the containers and here we have the uh, so many folders here so suppose if i wanted to connect uh, my data sets wanted to connect to the customer uh, cust data dot csv okay i wanted to use that so let me see if we have a data in this table yes i have three uh, two records in this so go to the data factory here you can see this data sets 
is connected to the blob storage and here i wanted at the run time the path okay file path and file name need to be parameterized so what i'm going to do i go to the click on the canvas and click on the parameters and the at the parameter i am i have created two uh, parameters at data set level one is file path and one is file name so what is this is the file name okay cast data dot csv and this is the file name that it is inside the input folder so inside the container we have a input so input is the file path and inside that input uh, input path we have a cast data dot csv is the file okay so these two parameters i have created now go to the connection these two parameter i have used in the file path setting in the file path you have to provide uh, you can say let me let me delete it so that i can show you see in the file path you have to provide the container name and directory and the file in my uh, blob storage if you can see i have container and i have uh, inside that if you see i have containers inside the containers i have input folder uh input is actually one of the container inside that i have i don't have any directory i have, i have directly the files inside that that's why what i need to do i need to provide container as an input and file name as a cast data dot csv before that what i'm going to do i need to pass the parameter which i have created so file path will go to my container click on this so i'll select the file path i map the file path parameter to the file path value directory i don't have any directory in my case in the storage just suppose inside the input you have some directory like customer folder and inside the customer folder you have cast data dot csv then in that case you have to use create one more parameter and map that here file name click on this here the file name okay so i have mapped my parameters to the fields now i need to test it okay so what i need to do i need to click on the preview data like we did earlier and here i need to provide the file path so file path is the input okay and i we need to provide the slash because we are going to make a concatenate the entire uh, path okay and here uh, sorry where it is customer data right so let me copy this cast data dot csv and go to here provide this value and click on okay okay see it is it is allowing uh, so you are able to connect to your particular file which you wanted to now i wanted to connect to the different file so in that case let the input folder find and inside that input folder where we have employee data csv so click on employee data csv and let let check how many records we have we have this two records so go back to here and uh, uh, sorry we have to copy this file name okay employee data dot csv before we check cast data now we are checking employee data so see we are using the same data sets to connect to the two different uh, blobs two different files so click on okay see the same record is coming here okay we'll do one more thing here uh, click on cross and let me upload one file let me upload uh, this is csv file Uh, let me upload this root data and we have to upload uh, okay this is already what i can do uh, let me delete this log okay let me this delete this file now i upload the root data and i will upload into one folder okay i put this root data and in advance i want this to in root folder let let me create one folder root and inside that root i wanted to upload this file see so this time if you see i created one directory so here inside the blob storage in the container i have one uh, in the input container i have one directory root and inside the root i have root data dot csv so let me try to uh, use uh, preview this but before previewing this what we because this file uh, is inside the root folder so this directory we have not creating any parameter for the directory level so what we can do go to your uh, data factory here so we have to little bit change uh, data set and we have to create one more parameter that is our directory so for data set create 
and here if the name is directory okay one parameter is created now here because earlier we don't have any directory so this was blank now we have a directory and that directory we can map it with the field no this is fine okay now this has been changed let me collapse it so that to get a better visibility now click on preview data now this time we have to provide uh, file name and directory as well so go to your uh, input folder here and copy this root this is your directory use this and then x slash so this will be your complete path input slash root slash employee data dot csv no we have not employee data we have root data dot csv so what you need to do you have to use copy this go back here and you have to provide the correct file name and click on ok see we are able to use that we are now we are able to access the fruit uh, file which is inside directory in your blob storage account so this way what we did we have not created three different data sets to connect with employee data csv customer data csv and fruit data csv okay we have created only one data set and we have created a parameters uh, which will connect to your file path file name and directory okay and we have used this parameter while establishing connection to your file in the blob storage so this way we can create a one data set to uh, and provide your uh, uh, dynamic values at the runtime so this is be very beneficial to create a parameters and uh, uh, one thing that at the rate data set means the particular parameter has been created at the data set level we have not yet created a uh, uh, parameters at the pipeline level in the next session i will show you how we can create a parameters at the pipeline level i have covered how we can create uh, parameters at the link service and i have covered the parameters at the data set level so in the next session we will see how we can create a parameters at the pipeline level and we can pass the values at the runtime okay till that time happy learning have a good day guys thank you and have a nice day